Hey guys, it's Amy. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to day 29 of Vlogmas 2021. There's only a few days left. Uh, so today we're going to talk about my goals for 2022. So let's jump in. We'll I like I had in an earlier video, I'm using both. So I am going to talk through what I wrote down in my power sheets for my goals. And then I'll kind of show you how I've got things laid out in my Moxie daily. So first goal, and these are in no particular order. It's just how I ended up writing them down on the page. So health and wellness is first, and that is to lose weight and become a more healthy person. So I'm not going to share my number yet. Uh, maybe later, but I do need to lose some weight. So that is on there. And I also just want to be healthier. So I struggle with going through phases of cooking meals and eating them. So that along with workouts and medications and vitamins and stress and anxiety and emotional health and sleep routine and drinking more water, all of those things kind of rolled into my health and wellness goal for 2022 so that is kind of my plan for that lots of small details to work out and things i need to research which january is probably going to be a more research heavy kind of trying a couple of things to see like especially like if i want to switch meal boxes because i do better with a meal box if i want to try a couple of them i may like change it up on a couple of weeks just to get some different boxes. So that is my health and wellness goal. And then my, I'm gonna call it relationship goal because in power sheets, they actually have it broken down into several relationships. So they have a focal relationship, a family and a person and a friends. I don't need three. So I changed it up that friends, that particular category would be personal. The focal relationship would be like friends and family kind of thing. And then family turned into physical environment because the icon for the physical environment was a little house. So I felt like that was more appropriate icon wise. I'm, I'm not happy about these icons. Um, so for the kind of friends and family like relationship goal is to find friends that understand my passions and have more meaningful conversations. So I don't have a ton of like in-person friends. I have a ton of like online friends, I would call them. So to have more friends that I can hang out with on a day-to-day -day basis. And I would like for us to share common hobbies or common characteristics like they like planning or they like peloton or they like to just go out and have a, a coffee date or a drink that kind of thing so that's going to be more research of like where do people who have my particular hobbies and passions hang out so and i know that's a little harder now than it used to be but hopefully i can find some people that become my people so the personal one, which was the friends one, was to grow my self-confidence and self-esteem and have hobbies I enjoy. So I'm very bad at having a hobby and turning it into a business, AKA sticker shop. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to be more creative and have like special creative time just for me that I don't post or have an ulterior motive for. If it's something that I love that I can just keep, I don't want to say keep to myself, but, and I may share it occasionally, but like my reading journal is going to be, I like to share it, but it's going to be kind of a creative outlet with the themes and doing watercolors and the acrylographs and all that kind of stuff. And then being able to do some hand lettering. And I also have another journal that I think I'm going to use just strictly for doodling and hand lettering and just kind of playing around with. So that is one of my things and doing things like December daily, a scrapbooking type project. I used to scrapbook a lot. So I love having those kinds of projects as well. 
And then for my physical environment was to have a clean and well-maintained home. So something I have struggled with is finding a cleaning routine or schedule or whatever you want to call it for that works for me. I've tried zone cleaning. I've tried do the five minute task every day, just clean on weekends. I, I don't want to spend all day Saturday cleaning. I also don't want to spend all day Sunday cleaning. So I would probably do better if I could split it up into just a couple of days. I also don't want to clean every day. I'm not the type of person that enjoys it. So I need to make sure that one, it fits in my schedule and two, like when I'm doing it, I have something that I either listen to or do while I'm doing it or that I can do after that makes it a thing that I'm going to do, right? Like if, if I know that after I get done vacuuming, I can go like watch one of Lakin's YouTube videos, like something like that. I need to have a reward or goal or something after getting the task done. And then as far as well-maintained, there's a couple of things that need to happen throughout the house. Like I need new carpets or, you know, I want to renovate the bathroom or change, you know, a door, like the door to the sunroom doesn't, I, I have like a extra lock on it because it doesn't stay shut. Even the kitties can push it open sometimes. So those kinds of things that need to be repaired that I just haven't gotten around to yet. One, either because of money and time that it takes to do it, or I just haven't, <laughs> I've just been busy and just haven't done it. So things like that, that need to get done around the house. And then for my finances, that goal is to become more financially stable. So I think last year my goal was to basically budget and get out of debt, which it's still to get out of debt, but be more financially stable in that if something were to happen, I have savings to fall back on and I have money set aside for retirement that I can use when I'm at that point. So that's kind of the financially stable aspect of it. And I have several things that I'm thinking about for that as well. And then the work and learning goal is to learn new things for my full-time job, but also learn new and innovative ways to grow my business. So I have definitely not gone the traditional route of, you know, selling on Etsy and growing and, you know, then starting my own website and just being the traditional planner sticker shop. I started selling my stickers on Amazon and I truly enjoy, I like it. Um, so Amazon is different. When you put your items in Prime, you can like batch sticker making and send it into Amazon and they handle all the customer service and the uh, warehousing. So they hold the inventory, they handle the shipping. So it's a lot less on me. The fees are slightly higher, but I would, I'm totally fine with that because Amazon handles all the stuff that I don't, it's not that I don't like customer interaction. I love the customer interaction, but it also makes it easier on me with a full-time job to have someone else handling a lot of that for me, especially the shipping and the housing, the inventory. So looking for other ways that I can grow my business or do things that will improve my content or my abilities to grow my business. So the other goal is for spiritual and personal growth, which I would say it's more spiritual growth. So is to grow spiritually and develop regular gratitude and personal growth. So, and these seem very high level, but I wanted them to be, I didn't want them to be so specific that I like cornered myself into one particular thing and couldn't adjust because I like my annual goals to be a broader category and then for each quarter or each month I can narrow it down more. So when I say grow spiritually and develop regular gratitude, I definitely want to start doing more like journaling and gratitude entries like a daily gratitude entry and I did not finish my Bible study thing for the year. 
to finish the Bible in a year. So my goal was to finish it next year. So I got a pretty good ways through. So I want to finish that uh, into 2022. So my next goal and final goal is to enjoy life more. So more travel and more vacation. So I do travel some, uh, but I do not do a good job of taking like the random vacation day and doing a, you know, like a day trip or a road trip. So I definitely want to start taking like more random vacation days, even if it's just to stay at home and do nothing but sleep all day. Like I am totally cool with that, but more random vacation days to use my vacation throughout the year and more travel of travel just for myself. Uh, a lot of my travel is to see family, which is fine. I enjoy it and it's definitely every time we go, I get to hang out with my nephew or something like that, which is which is fine, but I don't travel just by myself for me time. So I would love to, to travel more just for me. So that is eight yearly goals that I have set for myself in 2022. Like I said, they're kind of broad, but I have ideas of how I need to narrow them down. So once I picked my goals, we worked through goals, breakdown, and action plans during Lakin's goal setting workshop that she did for her Patreon group. So I did go back and fill this out. I didn't fill this out when we were breaking down the goals, but I did go back and fill it out. And then I did mostly mind maps for my goals. I had a uh, one other one that I I did a mind map, but then to kind of outline some ideas, I did this separate sheet to get it all kind of like broken out to kind of get some mini goals. And like I said, the first the first month, especially on business stuff, is going to be quite a bit of research. Like, is there online courses that I need to take, or is there things I can do that are small? task like change the way some things are worded or things like do I need to update any SEO those kinds of things to kind of start preparation for moving in the right direction because I'm sure there's some other things that will need to happen but small changes that I can make early on that I don't have to put a lot of work into I want to get done first and then if there's online courses that I need to take, those may take longer and I can start researching some of those ideas. So those are my goals for 2022. And I did already start writing in the, so the goal setting section in the Daily Moxie is written out as your annual goals. But since this is a quarterly planner, I'm gonna use them as quarterly goals. So I already started writing out kind of my focus area and some ideas for the quarter. So my focus for my personal goal is going to be confidence because that's my word of the year is confident. And for fun and recreation is going to be joy. So basically like what brings me joy? What kind of trip do I want? If is it going on a trip, what kind of trip do I want to plan? Work and learning for the online business or small business that I have. Is there online classes? I need to set up like, you know, content plans and restock plans and that kind of thing. And any ideas that I have, how am I gonna like keep track of them? And then the family and relationships, my focus is gonna be friends. So figuring out uh, how to meet people, if I need to set up a meetup or things like that. Um, and then setting up, you know, coffee or planner dates that I can do that. For the health and wellness, I have been doing pretty good at Peloton workouts because we have the Power Zone Pack challenges. So that gives me kind of a workout plan and that's pretty easy for me to follow. For my focus for Q1 is gonna be nutrition and diet. So I need to do some research on some meal prep boxes. Speaking of, if you know of one that's gluten-free, be sure to drop it down below. I know about Sun Basket and Freshly. Um, I've used those in the past, uh, but if you have any other ideas for meal boxes, they don't have to be prepared food. I would actually rather cook the food, but 
something like that. Um, if I want to change that, what does that look like? And if there's several that I want to try, I need to set up an account and figure out when I'm going to get it delivered and all that kind of stuff. And then there's uh, spiritual and personal growth. So I've got it kind of in three sections. So I've got like religion, faith, gratitude, because I figure I can work on a couple of these things because they'll be short tasks. So to work on the reading plan for reading through the Bible in a year, to work on gratitude journaling, and I'm trying to decide if I want to do one of the write the word journals. I may wait on that until February or March. It just depends on how the first month goes. And then for finance, my focus is budget and spending. So for the first quarter, I want to work on fine tuning my budget. So I came up with an idea of how much per category. So I want to kind of play with that. And it's going to take a couple of months, obviously, to kind of get that kind of like in a groove of sticking to certain numbers because I really haven't done that as much. I've just been more tracking. And then I also want to track my expenses daily. I don't want to wait until I'm paying bills or the end of the month or something to track what I've spent. So doing more of that daily. And then uh, the other thing to do in Q1 is to file my 2021 taxes. I know that's like crazy to think about. I feel like we just did this. Um, and then setting up savings and sinking funds. I want to get all that stuff squared away, have my envelopes ready to go and that kind of stuff. And then physical environment is a cleaning and house management. So I'm going to kind of look up what house management really means. Uh, I know it's cleaning and I know it's keeping up with certain tasks like changing air filters or changing the filter in the refrigerator or in the, in the water or changing the filters in the drawers or that kind of thing. So that's the kind of stuff that I want to kind of figure out what are my house management tasks that need to be completed on a set interval and make sure that I have all that kind of somewhere probably in like, I don't know, probably like a notion board or something to begin with to figure out what everything is and how often it needs to happen. So that is kind of my plan for my quarterly goals. I will come back in January and talk about monthly goals and what I am planning for the focus areas for the month and the weeks because Moxie breaks it down into monthly goals and then weekly things and then there's a you can have a focus for the day which I like the idea of a focus so we'll see how this goes and I will definitely be doing the reflections at the end of every week and I will let you guys know what I think about how the system is working and I'm very optimistic to have this guy because I think I need the reflection and the time to think about how things are going, which I haven't really done as much in the power sheets. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my goals for 2022 and how I'm kind of setting it up in the power sheets and the Moxie Life System and kind of my plan for how that's going to be used together. So super excited to be using Moxie Life daily. Um, uh, this could be my perfect planner. <laughs> so I'll let you know about that too. Um, in a few months to let you know how the system's going. So the Moxie Life Daily is a quarter. So at the end of Q1, I'll kind of have a better idea of the system and using the two together and how I'm liking the daily layout with the weekly overview and all that kind of stuff, which I think it's going to be awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, please be sure to subscribe and so you can be back for all the new content in January. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.